Hey guys, Mike Builds back. Just wanted to do a small update on our solar power station. Everything's been working really well. I've had people ask me about this charge controller. It's been mint. The Sun Gold Power Inverter, I use it every single day. That thing is awesome. So here's kind of the setup right now. As it sits, we have about 13 kilowatt hours of electricity storage. So you saw in the other two videos, we capacity tested these two batteries. These are actually connected in, in parallel with this battery, with that Wheezy battery. The battery behind it's another 1400 watt hour battery. And then we have this headway cell pack that I built also connected in parallel. So we have a ton of batteries here and they all go to these bus bars here, which I know they're unsafe because there's no covers. All the batteries hook up here through Anison connectors, so it's easy to disconnect everything. And then we go through the current shut and to our use bus bars. And then that big fuse goes to the inverter. We have that little cord going to those guys. And that's pretty much it. So as it sits right now, I'm not extremely happy with the setup, but this is what we're gonna use for now. You know, just because I haven't thought of anything better to do yet, but super happy with this. Um, we're just gonna continue using it. Like I said, I use the inverter every day. I have this power strip here. I charge my computer with it. I'm charging my lawnmower battery with it right now. So I use the heck out of this thing and it's been amazing. Now this power station, these batteries used to be connected to the big guy. However, this is now gonna be its own standalone system. And this is also the same system I used to capacity test with, but I'm not doing a capacity test on a set of batteries. This is gonna be its own system. It's got its own charge controller. I gotta clean this wiring up a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's got its own chump meter and everything. So I still need to do a capacity test on these cells. So I'm kind of in the process of charging them up and, and we're gonna do that. And that allows us to use the Jupiter Pure Sine Wave Inverter. I will say that Sun Gold Power is better. It's a low frequency, 3000 watt. Um, it doesn't even flinch at anything I throw at it. This thing, when I hook up a window AC unit, the surge of the compressor kicking on kind of freaks it out for a second, but it does run it just fine. So I maybe have to do a video on that. But anyways, yeah, this is what we're gonna use this setup for. And like I said, this system is all completely separated from this one. This is just for testing. This is like our main station. And eventually I guess my idea is to keep this portable, but I have so many, you know, setups with the batteries now, maybe I'm gonna have to build me an enclosure or some sort of rack system. I'm not sure yet how we're gonna do it. So we're just gonna kind of keep playing with it and see where it goes but just wanted to do kind of a small update. Like I said, everything's working perfect. I've had no issues and I try to be as safe as possible with everything. These need to be covered up. You know, exposed terminals are kind of dangerous. But other than that, I'm really happy with the setup. So I can't wait to see where we go with it next. All right, we're in my backyard. As far as solar panels go, we're only using these three. They're rated at, uh, I believe 240 watts or something like that. So these three total give me, I want to say like, 600 watts total but they're kind of old so they don't put out quite as much as they used to um but yeah so i want to eventually optimize all this have all four panels connected do the wiring a little bit better and all that good stuff the charge controller i'm using can take up to 150 volts open circuit i believe so we're definitely going to use that to our advantage but these are the panels to charge our power bank with but that's gonna be it guys just want to end this video off by thanking all the people who comment thank you to my new subscribers i'm trying my best to get the channel up and going and get this kind of become a regular thing so i appreciate all the comments appreciate all the feedback i'm going to keep doing my best to help you guys out if you have questions in the comments if you guys have maybe a specific video you'd like me to do maybe throw in the comments some ideas um, i do work a lot but on you know on the weekends when i get some free time i try to kind of come up with video ideas but sometimes i draw a blank so if you have anything specific you want to see maybe a how-to i have been thinking about putting together a basic solar setup how to you know a battery a charge controller a solar panel and a way to use the power a small inverter or maybe like a little 12 volt hub of some sort with phone chargers and all that but just let me know what you guys think and i will catch you guys in the next one